How'd you sleep? I got some, I guess. Good. <sighs> and do you? Yeah, I usually sleep better here. It's relaxing, kind of away from everything, you know. I dread returning to town. I'd stay here forever if I could. Well... <laughs> we have jobs to do. <laughs> How are you, Tang? Not as good as I can be. Yeah, that's a pretty standard Working through response. ideas and trying to figure out how to solve people's problems. <laughs> it's very like you. On the plus side, I think I can solve yours until we can get a more permanent solution. Do tell. Remember the box that I made for Corano? Mm, I don't like where this is going. The same principle can be utilized for what you're dealing with. You're gonna put her in a box. Just need to make a couple of... No. I just need to make a couple of bracelets using the same method. <clears throat> if it happens again, it'll go to the bracelet instead of everything else. The way the box worked is the first thing that it interacts with is the box. So the first thing that that would interact with would be the bracelets. It's worth a shot. What do you need for it? Metal and some kind of a gemstone. I could help with the metal, but... Preferably a soft metal. Well, is this something you even want to attempt, Sarah? It's my belief, based on what happened with the box itself, I doubt that they're going to explode the moment that they come in contact. Double. I just... Still, the option is there. A temporary option it may be, but it's still better than the alternative of not knowing what will happen. It would need happen, to be stronger than I am. Could do it with steel. I don't believe that the strength of the material nothing. is the issue. When it comes to things like this, the strength of the energy going into it is. If it's as powerful as you think it is, then the more <clears> pure <throat> gemstone that we utilize would be better. Even if it's a temporary thing that breaks the first time we use it, it could. You could wait until we're doing something really important before you put them on. That way, if they break, maybe it'll true. stop an outburst once or twice before it breaks. Again, I don't understand this, but... I trust you, Tang. I just don't want you to blame yourself if it goes wrong. <clears throat> I wouldn't be blaming myself, I'll be blaming the knowledge that I got. It's not even that. I genuinely cannot predict what happens. What 
wasn't intending on blaming you anyway. There's no blame to be had other than whatever force put this on you in the first place. Death itself, I guess. It's always been like this. Well... That's fine. We need to figure out where to find gemstones. And spare metal. I can spare enough to make some steel. It's expensive, though. But... If it helps you. As long as it's enough to make a couple of bracelets, or at least... Something to put on her. It'll work, possibly. Probably two or three steel bars. Just... Fair enough. And... We also need the gemstone. For a point of record, the one that was able to actually seal the Corona artifact, as powerful as it was, was... rough, to say the least. It was a piece of quartz and amber. We need one for each bracelet, I assume. Unless you can find one big enough to utilize for both, I would believe so. I'm checking with Wainwright at least to see if he has any. I wish I could hear a word either of you were saying right now. What's the name of the gemstone? It just needs to be any uncommon What was the name of the gemstone you said? Greater. Quartz. It's a relatively common one, but it was polished and refined. What about an amethyst? That's likely to work, as long as it's not raw. I'll just need to talk to my friend. See if I can get it back from her. <clears throat> she has one on hand. All I know is gemstones are capable of going through a purification process. Able to get lingering pieces of stone and other materials out so that they become very clear. Usually this is by chiseling away or whittling them down to the smallest portion. But sometimes they naturally form that way. But I'm not going to bury in 20 years worth of knowledge of mining to help out with that. I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but this will be a temporary fix. I'm aware of that. I need to figure out how to get my hands on star metal. This is just to be put in place until we can actually get our hands on some. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, then we know even more so that we need to get our hands on it. Speaking of which... Have you thought any more about... Who you want to bring with you down there? If you want me to be honest, I don't even know why I'm going down, except for <clears throat> political gain. There's no chance a clerium is there. Not even in these assembly chambers. That's if there's it one down there. It would be the biggest fucking risk on an if. Not only would I be risking myself, which I don't care about. I'm risking your father, all of his men. I. I don't think we should go. Well. Nobody else, not so much. Mm, no. I think we should wait. Now. We know where we can find a clearium. We've spoken to the Dowie. It may right sound now. impossible, but <clears throat> he's a noble. If we plan a trip for the future, and we trek down there, and we speak. Maybe to the king himself, oh, the dare I assume we can. 
Maybe I can plead my case and tell him that... You have no reason to care about the life of some random drow, but... Maybe we can help each other or something, I don't know. <laughs> we'll uh, talk to Morden, see what he thinks about it. He's obviously the closest to it. I don't know how dwarven politics work. But we'll swing by at least today. And your father. <clears throat> so he doesn't expel his men. Just not a good idea your anymore. Because if we go... If we go down there... And there's no Eclerium... And someone dies, or gets injured... Yeah. I'll be honest though. There is it sounds like this is a thing that's going to happen. One way or another, at some point. Everything we're trying to do Not is... early, though. No, definitely not early. We need to prepare. <sighs> pathetic, really. The only way forward is for me to return to shackles and under the thumb of a man I don't know. I didn't want to say anything. Let's go back. All right. We're heading back to town. It's too late, here unless you're coming with us. Anything you want me to translate to her? Hmm. I don't know where she is. Uh, I don't know. Anything you want her to know before you leave? Nothing yet. We're not acting on anything. Last I saw, she was by the tree. She might be somewhere else now. Don't overdo it. You will make yourself worse. Well, you're not wrong. Likely we're going to be going down there with or without the knowledge of what is there. So. We'll prepare as much as we can. We'll figure it out what we can. Better than in the city. <laughs> good. And you? It was good to have a good night's rest before you have to deal with the day's problems. <laughs> you have no idea. Uh, <clears throat> it was a restful one, but just feel drained today is all. Yeah. <sighs> Be careful, Faye. Something on your mind? Nah, a million things. Just... <sighs> My... <laughs> Just think, you haven't even gotten to keep one yet. <clears throat> You're already dealing with a lot of problems. No, you have no idea. <sighs> There's a lot we need to do before we even get close. Yeah, I know. Ships, men, gold. We need to go through all the country first. Aye. There's no telling how many more people are out there trying to stab your father in the back. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> so you can stab him back, huh? <laughs> stab him before they get to him. Uh, we're heading back in. Aye. Swing by if you need us, okay? All right, I'll stop by um, your dad's place to fill up the uh, the water in the plantars upstairs. Appreciate it. Mm. 
Might even, might even do a little housekeeping for him. I know he's been quite busy. <sighs> Alright, you two be careful. Always. <clears throat> oh, also, um, before I head into town, I'm going to talk to an old friend of ours. Uh, I don't like using Gazir. Uh, Awen. I want to talk to Awen today. I want to inform him of the troubles that have been going on here. The Inquisitors being here, not knowing if there's more coming or not. To alert every Dryad, Elder of the Woods, anything he can get a hold of to let them know to be on high alert within Gradia. Yeah. Is there anything in particular on the faraway lands do you want him to keep a lookout for you? anything since he can traverse <clears throat> indefinitely since he is part of the land itself, so to speak? Nothing specific, but if it takes time, anything of value pops up, mm. just let me know. Yeah, I've told well, Marin knows where the spot is and he can freely communicate, but. You two, I don't know, but if there's anything that y'all are looking for, or anything y'all are in search of in faraway lands, just let me know. I can talk to him. He can always keep an extra eyes and ears out, so to speak, where we cannot. Will do. Stay safe, Faye. Okay. Good night. Both of you as well. Have you seen... Hmm? Hmm? Have you been this way before? Last thought, get caught in your throat or something. Mm, no. <clears throat> Gotta pay a visit to someone first before I go. That's fine. If you haven't seen them already, maybe you should. Maybe next time. <clears throat> Not good with that kind of stuff. Yeah. I'll be right back. See you soon. Oh. You are struggling today. Eating shit today, yeah. 
I can't fucking do this lady shit. It's so uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Sorry. Don't be sorry. It's not you. <laughs> Ready? Mm. To notice. To fucking notice. <clears throat> running. That's fine if it's a if it's a garrison like Embassy is not that bad. Yeah. Embassy is not that bad, but when you have I think it's a natural reaction from our kind. <laughs> There's always that moment as we go through it that it just feels like we're trespassing. Yeah. Very true. I don't know what's worse. If things do go south. Mm -hmm. No, I'm gonna talk. <laughs> <clears throat> if things do go south. The next time we're in combat. And someone does get injured. I don't think it's wise if I stay around. Until I find that metal. I might leave. To go find it. to take on alone. I nearly lost my arm. Yeah. Hopefully I wouldn't be alone. There's a certain individual that I don't think would hesitate to come with me. Do they have red hair? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> she would die. <clears throat> Useless. She's better if I need to sneak into a party or something. She likes to flirt. Who I went? don't know who I'd take with me. Hmm. Well, the one I'm thinking of is expendable. And loyal. And I don't care about him. Not like I do the rest of you. Dare I ask? As long as you promise not to tell your father and that you understand it's completely for our gain and no one else's. <clears throat> Go on. I've been staking my claim in the Sergeant Sanders of the Imperial Embassy. He's been very useful. I've been able to sneak in and out of the embassy, the keep, and multiple other, other places because of his um, jurisdiction. He's also got me out of trouble a few times. He has his uses, but he's young and stupid. And he's human. Perfect for you. They only last so long. <laughs> You'd think that. But they all come with their problems. At first I was just using him because, um... 
I wanted to feel in control of something. Then once I got control of him, he just... He showed me just how useful he could be. Now I don't think he'd last a moment underground. But I think he'd be able to get me prepared to leave. Who knows, he might come with me. He'd die. He's done worse, though. He snuck me into the Imperial Embassy. Covered for me the entire way. Killed like five men that night. And he just walked away. How's that for patriotic? <laughs> <clears throat> Sanders is spineless. You're very right. <clears throat> it was by no skill that I got myself in this situation. It was luck. <sighs> I don't know. It's not really about the where I'm going, it's just the getting the fuck away from here. Away from you, away from the others. I don't care if I blow myself up. I deserve it at this point, but... I don't know. You know I Maybe care I'm about just you, Sarah. Being, uh... Yes, I know. I don't really want you blowing yourself up, if we can avoid it. I can't. First, I thought it was just combat, or I was when I was stressed, or I've lost my composure. But I was scaling a wall. I know how to scale walls. <clears throat> what next? What if <laughs> I'm helping you up a fucking wall, and your hand phases through mine, and you fall to your fucking death, or, or you accidentally bump me in the middle of combat, and I freeze you, and. Or set you on fire, or your father, or, or Lena, or anyone else that I fight with on a daily basis. I'll never blame you. I don't you. know what to do. You won't be able to blame me, you'll be dead. <laughs> then it doesn't matter. <laughs> it does for me. Because not only will I be dealing with the guilt of your death, your fucking ghosts will be haunting me for the rest of my life, knowing my luck. If I haunt you, I'll try and be nice about it. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> if you do decide to leave, don't go without telling me, okay? I'd never do that. Thank you. I don't want to leave you. It's only if it goes severely wrong will I leave. Let's hope it doesn't go wrong then. With gritted teeth, she agreed. Ghost town. Awfully quiet. <clears throat> I'm just glad mm. that cunt Maybe they're at the arena. Fucking Clifford. Game minute just want to let you know we're leaving the grove, so. Up off. I'll need Gizzard. Oh, hi, Clifford. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hi, how you doing? Significantly worse now that you're here. Oh my god. I'm kidding. True. How are you? How's the town? Outside of the, uh, the cart full of the injured Imperials and Radad men, uh, one of the salam and cheese sellers got a new shop. It's pretty fancy. Did they go on an offensive? I think so this time. Came back with a lot less wounded, but you saw the blood coming in. <clears throat> How bad was it? I don't think anybody's going to be life-threatening, but at the same time, a lot of people did come back harm. Hmm. 
You see my father. He was on the cart, but I haven't seen him since. I think he went up to the keep. Yeah, makes sense. <sighs> I'm changing out of my armor. I'll be back. I think I left my clothes in your house. <clears throat> Bless you, random sneeze. Random sneeze? It's a ghost sneezing in the background of my brain. <laughs> oh, look, my clothes are in this potted plant. I don't know why you leave them there like that. Because it smells good. It's dirt, Sarah. Mm -hmm. Just wait till you see my new outfit. <clears throat> I haven't tried it on yet because I'm honestly a little embarrassed by it. Not for me, but for everyone else that has to see me in it. Well, now I want to see it. You will. When I gain the confidence. It's not like you to lack confidence. Well, it's more so the reaction that the outfit is going to garner from others. No, if we were in the underdog, I would look like every other Mary Sue on the street. But I think it's about time the surface sees how we dress. Instead of whatever <clears throat> the fuck this is. Hmm. I've made do with these baggy pants and, I mean, shirt and grey pants for long enough. <laughs> I'm expecting a lot less Shut cloth the then. I didn't say anything. Um, the pants are similar, just a different colour, and the shirt is completely different. And I've got a nice scarf. <clears throat> Something Sanders would enjoy. <sighs> There's going to be uh, frequent comments now that I've told you. You know, I could pick on you back and say that you sound jealous. Do I? <clears throat> I don't know. I'm not very good at reading tone. I'll stop if it upsets you. <laughs> My head. My neck. My back. It's always a risk.
Hello? <clears throat> We're kin! Mm. I saved your life! You'd be dead without me. True. Very true. And yet I don't know my savior's name. Oh, look at the young lord himself. Tiberius. I was just interrogating Actually, him a little bit. Mm. Mm. Actually, if you have time, I would love to speak to you about something. Shall we? Ooh. Is it a private secret boy chat, or can I sit in? Uh, that is up to his discretion if he chooses to. I trust her enough. <laughs> yes! Very well. Then please lead on. <clears throat> I get to be a part of the boy talk, the boy talk. The she boy doesn't talk. often see our kind on the surface. Bless you. She's a little Bless excited. <clears throat> ah, that's quite fair. I'm so excited I've got to take my shoes off. <laughs> How can I help? Quite understandable. I... Ran into a very interesting individual last night. Okay. Doesn't really narrow it down. Well, the question might narrow it all down. Mm. If I'm being honest. How many... other drow are within this region that you're aware of? <clears throat> Hundreds. Hundreds. Then... How many of them are, well, skilled enough to disappear in front of your eyes? One. Hmm. See. I came across a very... Interesting man last night, <clears throat> say the least. Do tell. Did he say what he wanted? No, oh, by this. Well, I had the unfortunate situation of stumbling upon himself speaking with another individual in the streets. He seemed very much... Experience is the word I'll use. Very. What do you know of him? Enough that it's best to keep your distance if you can. The more you get tangled up with this guy, the tighter his grip gets on you. He is not aligned with the Underdark. <clears throat> he has no alignment except his own. He's just a bored oh. old drow who likes to have fun. Well, a law this is some good news. Hmm. Well, that's a bit of the bad news of it, but still. Hmm. Hmm. He fights with poisons. It isn't just the invisibility act that he pulls. He's also very skilled with a blade. Blade, you say? Hmm. I've crossed with him maybe once or twice. <laughs> I had help every single time, and every single time he bested us. Nearly killed me a few times. Very old. I... <clears throat> hmm. I, I had that feeling when I met him. It's rare to come across any, let alone male drow, are able to well, perform such feats. Closest ones that could probably do it. Uh... <clears throat> 
There shouldn't be any of that around here, unless he was trained. I think you should have a talk with him. Get to know him better. <laughs> He's a very interesting now I'm getting, person. I'm getting two bits of information. Stay away, get closer. I know, closer. I contradict him. Maybe Kyler is more aligned with that of the law. Morals. I guess. Mm. Myself, if your curiosity's strong enough, talk to him. You seem like you can defend yourself quite well. Uh, I would agree with that, but it's been a while since I've had somebody sneak up on me in the dark. Mm. Mm. I'll consider it. Just don't cross Is him. There any That's the mistake. Mm. I don't have to assume what happens whoever does, I guess, for the man who deals in poisons. Hmm. Hey. Well. Is there any other folks I should be aware of in this area? There is a drow matron with a retinue. Uh, <clears throat> do you know of um, what region she's from? Not yet. She's very old as well. I'm slowly chipping away at her armor. As soon as I know things, I'll be able to disseminate it with the rest of Giwen, so they may keep tabs on the drow's doings. They are popping up a lot more frequently up here, enslaving the surface dwellers, left and right. I see. <clears throat> Thank you. I very much appreciate knowing that. If you do find out what region she's from, please let me know. Will I finally get to ask you questions then? I think it's only fair you can ask me a question since you've shared so much. Fine. Good enough for me. You see his eyes, mm -hmm. Kyla. Red. Very red. Are you a surface dwelling drow, Tiberius? No, I am not. I was born in the Underdark. That's really all I have for him. Until next time. Maybe I'll make a habit out of these favors. Uh. <clears throat> I'm going to be doing some reading later today, if I can find the right mm. books. Anything you want to get ahead of before I discover it? Mr. Templar. Oh, I'm sure your father has said much, of course. Not much, actually. Granted, most things are... Hmm. Well... As the man in question, the few rumors that are there... Rumors. Is all I will say. There are times when... Templars are required to handle the issues in the lands, so to speak, in Astagon. Sometimes that requires us to, well, put Lord under thumb. And a lot of the laws in question that were broken, 
and then enact an a justice. Now, not all... May I be clear this? All justices are correct. But... I do not have every say of every man who chooses to enact what he believes is right in the moment. But... Estagon has their means of handling business, as it were, and we have our own. That's about the limit I'll give for now. I'll let you discover what you will. I'll be curious to know what you find out, to be honest. Why did Arn ask about your... chapter, master, what was it? Ah. The Grand Master. There you go. Mm. Good morning, sir. You look <clears throat> striking. It was a morning. Where's the blood from this time? Does it matter? Did you Curiosity. Do the offensive. We won. They were pushed all the way back to the valley where the original kidnappings have taken place. They've lost the battlefield and the open walls of barricades. The combined efforts, since they had no cavalry, <clears throat> helped a great deal. They are back on their back feet again. Likely they'll try to think up some sort of strategy to spread our line out. I'm expecting the Sabine, but we'll see. Casualties? That is where the blood is from. <laughs> 237, give or take on both sides. I'd need time to break it down, see how many are wounded. And how many are dead? Could have been better, but... We can't do that again. Mm. It seems to be brought to a close. <clears throat> Just put me on the front lines. I'll blow them up or something. <laughs> As like you were that, saying... Dick. Ah. Well. That, I'm curious. Now I'm wondering if you have a pile of black powder hidden somewhere. Something like that. But... The Grand Master is head of my order. Treated as, um... In... I would assume in similar to... Uh, cultures such as Gwyn or Ireland of uh, commanders or kings, so to speak. They are in charge of much of territory and men, and they guide where we are to do our duty. But not to be holden to the king or the lords. They are beholden, but they are still the customs, understand, that the king must even follow. Why the controversy? Hmm. Think of it as a way that... The guards are necessary in a town to allow law and order, yes? Mm-hmm. The Templars act in the same way, not as a usual standing army, but an army that makes sure to guard and protect the entirety of Astagon in its totality. Seem to be dodging the question a bit, Tiberius. It's... understand... there are certain things that require me I'm not able to say. I'm, I'm under oaths that allow me to keep quiet. Hmm. Well, I'll do some so much see I what can pops share. up. <clears throat> I apologize if it seems rude. It's just the amount I can give. 
Okay. Even throughout the town, I've chosen to not reveal too much even about myself. Smart. Inquisitors are about... And people in this yes, town don't know how to shut their fucking mouths, aside from the people in this room and a few others, so... Do wise to keep your secrets <laughs> close. But you can trust me with your secrets. I like secrets. Ah, uh, you, you both seem to be the type that likes secrets, if I'm being honest. Especially a man who deals in secrets. Woodrow. Hmm. Our entire life is a secret <clears throat> from the surface. Yes. And no. Just depends on Speaking the Speaking of secrets, I, want to, hmm. I want to pick your brain about something later. I may do so. I may not be around later, but it's at your discretion. Later, tomorrow, the next day. I have thousands of years. We all do. Hmm. Hopefully. Anyway, we've got some meetings to go to. I assume you don't need me for anything else. Mm. That was all I required. I thank you very much for the information. Of course. And if you need assistance, as I said, may you call my name. I will assist. I do ask that we try to, to avoid more of the roguery, if at possible. Understand if it's more of a... Something better for the country, yes. Not so much <laughs> of the... <clears throat> Breaking into a home and stealing what should not be stolen. Oh, well, you, you don't understand my deal opinion. too much in roguery. This is just for him, right? <laughs> What's a rogue again? Us. <laughs> Basically. I don't even... I don't even... What's I can't even see in the dark. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Thank you, Tiberius. Come on, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> we have meetings. Thank you very much to both What did I get roped into? Well, you need to talk to the Thane. I need to talk to Meryn. Ah, oh, right. Warden. I wonder how angry he's going to get that I want his precious star medal. Well, when we mentioned it to him, he fucking locked up more than I've ever seen him. Obviously, we didn't talk about you specifically. Oh. But... I'll fucking tug his beard. I won't. I learned my lesson with that. I learned my fucking lesson. <clears throat> Not with a dwarf, but with a Duragar. I'll, um, <laughs> fill you in a bit more on him later, once I read a bit more. He's very interesting. I like him. He's likable. I know he's... he's got secrets. He... He knows things. His... He knows things about home. His order, the Templars, specifically his section of it. Back in Asteon, they dealt with um, seeking out and procuring interesting artifacts. Mm. Gonna read a bit more on them, because apparently so he's acquainted with magic. Surface. Something like that. I don't know the full extent yet, but interesting. Hopefully, we have a book on him. Interesting. Anyway, <clears throat> oh, oh. Um, shall we seek out Morden? Oh, yes. If he's away, I get twenty-two silver. Twenty-two silver. Where can I get? Is he around today? Morden. 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 He might be up at the keep. Mordenian. My stomach hurts. Fucking same. <clears throat> Sounds quiet. Must not be in. Maybe we'll come back later. Um, 
I need to find Marin and probably Markle. Marin. Marin and Markle. M -m 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 Sparkle. 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 Is it Buckle? Never mind, that's not him. Some random dirty fucking <clears throat> peasant. Dirty boy. <laughs> my brain hurts. Oh my god. It's a bit like that today. It's gonna be weird seeing walls. I don't like it. I like the openness. Yeah, me too. Ooh, what the fuck is this? Look at that. Bet I can still fit through there. With those hips? <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck you. I'm just saying they don't lie. Hello, Marco. Your soul crusher. Open in your. Open in your, Marco. <laughs> I don't think he's in. It's weird that he left his door open, though. I can fucking climb that. Oh, we could. Oh, Sarah. <laughs> I totally could. Look at that. Look. Yes, we could oh, easily we get over it. Am I dead? I don't want to be dead. Wake up. Grab a brush and put a little Wash makeup. Wash your face, put on a little makeup. That's not the words. Why did you leave the keys upon the table? 